quickly. We are going to determine the rate law from reaction mechanisms when you have a fast then slow step. Number one, add the two reaction mechanisms. Notice that my CH3OH2 plus is going to cancel. We will be left with CH3OH plus H plus plus Br minus yields CH3Br plus H2O. Second, I'm going to write the rate law from the rate determining step. That's the slow step. Our rate law is going to be rate equals K times CH3OH2 plus times Br minus. I notice the intermediate is part of the rate law and that is not acceptable. So step three, I go to my fast step and I write both rate laws, forward and reverse. The forward rate law, rate equals, this would be a K1, K minus one, I'm gonna call that K2, just to keep these straight. They really don't matter, but we'll keep them straight. Uh, we will have CH3OH, times H plus. The rate law for the reverse rate, rate equals K to the minus one times CH3 OH2 plus. At equilibrium, rates are equal. So those two rates are the same. I can set the rate laws equal to each other. We get K1 CH3 OH times H plus equals K to the minus one times CH3OH2 plus. Now I solve for the intermediate. Divide both sides by K minus one. I can now take my uh, next step. I can now take that intermediate and substitute. This equals the intermediate so I substitute it right there. Let's write the whole thing. Rate equals K2 times K1 divided by K minus one times substitute CH3OH times H plus times Br minus. Cleaning this up at the very end, I can just change that of the K2 times K1 divided by K to the negative one that is simply K. Wonderful. And we have the rate law for this overall reaction using our reaction mechanisms, fast then slow. Great work. Like and subscribe, Old School Chemistry. Great to see you. Bye.